Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we are checking out the Cold Steel Bench Top Knife Sharpener. Now, I will say this thing looks pretty promising. It is very affordable, and we're going to talk about the goods, the bads, and whether or not it's worth the money, or if you should just go a different route altogether. Now, I will say I did already film this video, but the sound did not work, so there's going to be a bunch of clips in this video with no sound. I apologize. But we are going to get into this thing in depth, so you can decide whether or not it's for you or not. Now, after sharpening a, a couple knives on this system, I think I got a pretty good idea of the goods and bads about this system. So let's talk about it. Now, one thing, you know, to use it, it's pretty straightforward. You know, the carrying case is awesome. It comes with a carrying case, and it's pretty easy to figure out, but you do have an instruction manual if you need it. But it's easy to put together. It's only a couple screws. You screw down the base, or screw down the clamp to the base, and then you have your angle adjustment on attached to the rod, which you can put the stone right onto. Very easy to put together. And then once you got it put together, you can set your angle and then clamp your knife. The clamp works really good. It's easy to unclamp and clamp. It has rubber guards on the inside to protect your blade. And it's really easy to clamp tight. You can really bear down on clamping it tight, which I do like. And then you sharpen one side. Now, this motion does kind of get a little bit, uh, you got to get used to it. it. It does take a little bit of muscle memory. But once you've done a couple knives in it, you will just get it better and better and better and better. And you'll get used to that motion. Then once you get one side done, you take this screw out right here. You got to take it all the way out. Spin the device all the way. and then screw it back down. Then you work on this side. Now, the problem is that this thing flexes. So you have to hold your hand underneath it and kind of stop it from flexing and also use light pressure. If you use any pressure at all, it will flex. Now, like I said, you can kind of block it with your hand and put your fingers underneath it to kind of protect it from flexing. But, you know, it does want to flex. Even with the screw screwed down as tight as possible, it still has some flex to it. Now, the next problem is this screw, you have to take it all the way out to spin it, which can just be very time consuming, pulling the screw all the way out, spinning it, and then finding the two holes, making sure they both match up so that you can screw the screw through. It'd be better if you could just loosen it and spin it and then retighten it, but nope, you have to take it all the way out. Now, the next problem is that with a narrow blade, like you see on here, this is not a, a, a broad blade, you can't do low angles. When you try to do a low angle, the stone will hit the clamp. I don't know why they did that. You'd think at any angle, you, this stone would not hit the clamp, but it does. So that's a big problem. So any type of narrow knives, you're not going to be able to do low angles. You will have to stick with a high angle. Now, also, any type of recurves, it seems that the, the edge angle kind of fluctuates a little bit with recurved knives or knives with different uh, heights. So... It's going to do best with basic blade shapes like spider coes, drop points, straight backs, things like that. It's going to do the best with. You see here we have a basic drop point blade inside the system and it, it sharpened it up just fine. But like I said, you do have some flexing and you do have to take that screw out and flip it every time and then refine the hole and put it back in. As far as it's sharpening your knife, yes, it works. It sharpens your knife. It, it takes a little bit of time to, to get used to the motion. It comes with two stones, two double-sided stones, which is basically four stones, a 300, a 600, an 800, and a 1200. Now, some more negatives. One, I haven't seen any aftermarket attachments or any other stones that they sell. So... It'd be nice if they did sell straps and other stones so you have a little bit more um, variations or different supplies you can get. But as far as the base model goes and what I found that comes with this system, 
it's only the four stones. And it, you know, I don't know of any aftermarket attachments for something like this. Now, do I recommend it? Yes and no. So I recommend it if you are on a budget this tight and you don't have any more money and you need a fixed angled system, you don't want to do freehand, you want to do fixed angled, then yeah, I recommend it. You got plenty of stones here. You're going to be able to get your knife sharp. Maybe not at the angle you want if it's a certain blade, but you can get it sharp still. What do I recommend above this would be either the Lansky system, which the Lansky system, you can it comes with lots of different stones, or you can buy lots of different stones, so there's lots of different um, stone attachments. You can go aluminum oxide, Arkansas, ceramic, diamond. So they have basically any type of stone for that system. Now, you have to make sure you get the base with that system, but the next one I would recommend would be the WorkSharp Precision Guided Sharpener, and I'd probably recommend even the base model over this model. So if it was between this model right here, is whatever comes in this case, versus the base model of the WorkSharp Precision Guided Sharpener, I would recommend that. It's easier to flip your clamp, that's one thing, and you have the ability to buy aftermarket attachments at any time. And you can also make a base for the clamp, because yes, the clamp on that one flexes too, just like this one, except for you can fix it on that one. With this one, you really can't. So it makes it to where it's a lot more versatile. You can get aftermarket parts for attachments and stone holder attachments, so then you can make make it work with any stone you want or at least any stone of the size that the, the aftermarket clamp will hold which most stone companies make stones to fit so you can get any type of stone you want um, unlike this where you only have these even without those attachments i still recommend the work sharp over this if you are on a super tight budget this is not a bad option to go with but you are limited it is very, very limited, as you can expect. If you have the money, I I would say get the system that you can afford because you're always going to want something better. So if you have the money to go and get a KME, get it. If you have the money for a TS Prof Cadet Pro, get it. If not, and you are limited, then this will work just fine. But with limited money, this is also a limited knife sharpener. So it is what it is, and it's not that big of a deal. A lot of people only have a few knives in their, you know, in their collection anyways, and this will work just fine for that. So if you only have a few knives and you just need to keep a few knives sharp, no problem. It will definitely work for that. So I'm going to link everything I can down in the description for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.